The Frosty Archduke enters Whiteholm Castle, the seat of power in Glenbrook, and lays claims to the throne. Select events. Your most honorable siblings, Lord Thallus and Lady Erica, have arrived, my lord. Mm. Thank you for the escort. You may go now. Okay. If there is anything else that you require, anything at all, you need but say the word. In that case, I would have a bottle of the realm's finest wine and a serving of fresh fruit delivered to my quarters. Oh my. But of course, milady, I shall have the servants fetch it at once. Ever eager to please, isn't he? I believe the word you're looking for is sycophant. Really? Congratulations on bringing Glenbrook to its knees, brother. It's a thing of beauty, what you've accomplished. I trust you're already seeing to that fuss outside the castle walls? Mm-hmm. Of course. The other domains are putting up little in the way of resistance. Lord Tellior trembles in his seat within the stronghold, and Lord Fox was oblivious to what was happening until it was far too late. How easily the three great houses of Glenbrook break under your iron boot, brother. Wolford is the last to hold out, but Avlora will deal with them. Prince Roland will be in our hands before long. Really? <sighs> Speaking of royalty, brother, I would have thought Cordelia would be dead or rotting in jail. <laughs> rotting in go? Gao. Yet here she sits on the throne. She looks less a vanquished princess and more a queen. That is precisely what I would have her be. Whatever do you mean? Once things have calmed, I shall assume guardianship over her and have her crowned. <sighs> a few days hence, Regna will be executed. I've already informed Patriot as much. So the wise and benevolent King Regna meets his end at last. <laughs> Father. Subjects of Glenbrook, I am Gustadolf, Archduke and High Commander of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. Hear my words. The sins King Regna has committed against us, and against you, his own people, are grievous indeed. <sighs> Three decades have passed since the end of the war. In the years since, we have all done what we can to rebuild our nations. The opening of the Grand Norzelian Mines was to be the dawn of a new age. An age where our three nations would work together for the peace and prosperity of all. But King Regna spat in the face of that glorious dream. As our engineers worked tirelessly to put success within reach, your King Regna schemed in the shadows to seize control of the mine for his own profit. And when Dragan Esfrost, my dear cousin, and the man tasked with overseeing the mine's operations, became aware of this plot, King Regna had him assassinated in cold blood. Oh my. In doing so, he betrayed not only my own nation and the holy state of Hyzant, but you as well. And so we were left with no choice but to march on Whiteholm Castle and put an end to Regna's treachery. 
by force. Our actions were born of a righteous duty to avenge Dragan's murder and this odious betrayal of this historic accord between our nations. What say you, King Regna? Do you deny these charges against you? <sighs> Speechless. I do not. But I beg of you, spare my children. Subjects of Glenbrook, your traitor king admits his guilt before you. Ooh. The punishment for these crimes is death. Ooh. Off with his head. Oh. Roland. Cordelia. The future of our kingdom is in your hands now. Just days after the fall of the Crown City, King Regna of Glenbrook is beheaded before his subjects. The death of this kind and benevolent monarch plunges the realm into confusion and chaos. Wow. With the king perishes an all too short lived era of peace, and in its place, one of bloodshed and turmoil. Okay. Whatever is House Telior to do. With King Regna gone, we must find a way to preserve ourselves. Landroy, that proud fool, will no doubt fight to the bitter end. But House Fox alone is no match for the Grand Duchy. Yet, if House Wolford were to fight at their side, they say Prince Roland is in Wolford's charge. If this is true, there's a good chance they will join the fray. Or will they? The Wolfords may choose to ransom the prince to Esfrost in return for amnesty for their own domain. If it comes to that, Esfrost will either kill the prince and princess, or use them as their pawns, and Glenbrook will fall. Bending the knee to Esfrost may be our only hope if we are to live to see tomorrow. Okay. Bend the knee. There are still side stories here. Side stories. Citadel of the Sands. News of Glenbrook's fall reaches the Citadel of the Sands in the far off holy state of Hyzat, where a great battle of the Solitron War was fought so many years ago. Minister Sorsley. What is it this time, Booker? <laughs> Booker. We've just received word that S. Frost has launched a surprise invasion of Glenbrook. Whiteholm burns as we speak. What's this? The Crown City has fallen. King Regna was beheaded. And it is said Crown Prince Franny also perished in the fray. Prince Roland has fled to the domain of House Woolfort with the Grand Duchy's army in close pursuit. 
Goddess forbid. What could the Archduke be plotting? And what did the others think of the manor? At any rate, I must speak with His Holiness at once. Minister, if I may assuage you, I propose that perhaps this situation may yet play to House End's benefit. Our benefit, you say? Indeed. Indeed. You may have the right of it. Hmm? Why? My dear Booker, whatever would House End do without you? Send a raven to his holiness. Tell him that his faithful servant Sorsley would humbly beg an audience. Ooh. At once, master. Any more side stories? Fox the Miz, Auschwitz. Lord Landroy, Fox King Ragnar's loyal bannerman since the days of the Selectron War, receives the news of his liege grim fate. House Fox has failed you. I have failed you. Hi, House. Damn it all. When you needed us most, we were not there to answer the call. How did we not see what they were plotting? How did we not know to go to your aid? But no. Cursing our fate will not bring you back to us. We must focus our efforts on the one who might yet save Glenbrook from downfall. We must protect Prince Roland with our lives. Any more side stories? Mm, guess not. Oh, what's this? Wolford's Town. Having made their escape by boat, Sir Noah and his uh, retinue finally make their way back to the house with false demons. What? But what awaits them there? Lord Sarah Noah! Oh, thank the heavens that you are safe! Hmm. It is good to be home. Castle Wolfort is the most impregnable stronghold in all the kingdom. You will be safe here, your highness. Really? Thank you. I can only hope Father and Sir Maxwell are safe as well. Benedict, there is news. What's the matter, Benedict? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Your Highness, my Lord, pray try to remain calm. His Grace was beheaded at the Crown City not bells ago. What? <laughs> Father... No... Say it is not so! Roland... I can only imagine what you're feeling now, Your Highness. But I fear we have not the luxury of grieving. 
As the last living heir to the throne, there is no doubt that the Archduke will target you next. Indeed, we must move quickly. I would seek Father's counsel. About Lord Simone. Huh? What is it? What? Has something befallen Father? Father! Lord Simon, what is the meaning of this? He collapsed when he heard the news from the Crown City, and has not opened his eyes since. What? You must be mad! The man was stronger than an ox! <laughs> we cannot afford to lose Lord Simon. Not now, of all times. Father! Be strong, Father. This realm still needs you. I still need you. Father. Father. Sarah Noah. Is there any chance he will recover? Our healers are doing everything they can, but none can say. Very well. Do not give up hope, Zeranoa. The malady will not take your father easily. Forgive me, Roland. I can only imagine what you feel now. I must stay strong. I cannot allow father's death to be in vain. You too must remain composed. For Lord Simon. And for those who now look to you for guidance in his stead. I will try. Pardon me, my lord. I come bearing a message. From whom? The scout we had sent in search of Sir Maxwell returned with this. Sir Maxwell's mask. Oh. Reports have it that it was found near Whiteholm Bridge. Blood. No. It cannot be. This mask was all that was found, you say? The bridge was all but overflowing with the bodies of the fallen. It was not possible to ascertain all of their identities. And the swift course of the river thwarted any efforts to search further. I see. Thank you for the report. Get some rest. You have earned it. Yes, my lord. Sir Maxwell, you too abandon me now? Ah. Oh. At Gustadolf's command, S-Frost musters its forces at Whiteholm Castle and commences a march on the Wolfort Domain. Their aim, to seize in their clutches Prince Roland, the unwilling heir to Glenbrook's throne. Okay. Anything else here? No. Whoa. Well, we can zoom in.
As the HRC army advances on Hawk's, Hawk's Roost Castle, another crisis looms large for Sir Noir and Prince Roland. Okay. My lord, the Asfrosty army advances on us as we speak. A missive has arrived from Lord Gustadov. It says they will stand down on the condition that we surrender Prince Roland to them at once. With not much time before they're on our doorstep, my lord. Word has it that General Avlora herself heads the vanguard. Gustadov's not taking any chances. The scheming bastard. Hoo hoo hoo. Summon the War Council at once. We must take swift action. Really? You cannot be serious about this. It's all right, Frederica. Please continue, Benedict. Thank you. Once more, I would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Esfrost? I say we refuse. We owe Sir Maxwell that much. Precisely. Sir Maxwell entrusted us with keeping His Highness safe, and we accepted. There's no place in the realm more sheltered by the terrain than this castle. He is safer here than anywhere. And yet, if the Archduke were to march on us with an army as great as the one that took the Crown City, or, heaven forbid, a greater one, the natural fortifications of this land would work against us. Our shelter would become our jail. Hmm. Gaul. So you propose that we just abandon him? That we sacrifice his life for our own protection? Better my life than any of yours. This is my battle. I would not see the blood of my friends spilt in my name. Mm hmm See, your highness, that's where you're wrong. House Wolfort's the sword and shield of the crown. You go to battle, we go with you. So it's always been. All right. Enough. I will leave before I see your domain ravaged by fighting. It is the only way. Surely you see this, yes? I refuse to believe sacrificing any of us is the correct path. My lord, we cannot allow war to come to the Wolfort domain. Your highest priority must be to your loyal subjects. All right. Oh, I have a choice. You would have me render decision here and now. The more I ponder, the more the answer escapes me. There is a case to be made for either course of action. Ooh. There is a case to be made for either course of action. As the master of this domain, you and no other must decide how we proceed. I understand that, Benedict. Prepare the scales of conviction. Scales of conviction? I would hear everyone's thoughts on the matter.
oh, was this nameless village? A shamaness with the power to harness the elements wanders Glenbrook's countryside that she might bring succor to the suffering from draw and famine. Okay. Sun's a harsh mistress, ain't she? If she sticks around much longer, my fields are apt to wither from the attention. I'd give my firstborn for a drop of rain. Oh, really? I and it ain't just the crops water worse for wear. I'd cry over a lot, but not but dust would pour from my eyes. How pitiless the caprices of nature. What grudge do the heavens bear to make the poor souls who tend the land suffer so? Izana. I would be remiss to let such suffering continue. If fate will show you no mercy, then I shall. Ho oh. ho! You begged for even a single drop of rain. I shall give you more. Behold, as I flood this desiccated land with nourishment. Huh? What's that the lady said? I believe she means to pull rain from a cloudless sky. Ha! I'd have more luck getting milk from a bowl. You must tell me if you do. We're in sore need of a miracle. A pleasure is always to see you, Lord. You've come just in time. This lass is about to put on a show. I am called Dizana. Allow me to banish the sun's cruel rays from your domain, that your people may see a measure of succor. Banish the sun? I wasn't aware it was in the habit of taking orders. <laughs> a summoner. Will slap my ass like I was just born. Rain, honest to goodness, rain. <laughs> How did uh, I've never witnessed a miracle like this? Izana, was it? On behalf of my people, allow me to express to you my deepest gratitude. No need for such formalities. I seek only to alleviate the suffering of the downtrodden in any way I can. If it is not too bold of me to ask, do you have need of a humble shaman within your ranks? Hey. It would be an honor to serve you, my lord. Tales of House Wolfort's magnanimity have reached even my remote village. We would welcome you with open arms, and the honor would be entirely ours. Doubtless we will have occasion to call upon your talents sooner rather than later. Izana, join your forces. Oh, <laughs> allies Izana. Inspired by your deeply held convictions, Izana joined your cause. Her skills will serve you well in battle, as her prayers can alter the weather itself, as well as summon lightning that will travel through water. Ooh. Okay, interesting.
as the Ash Frost Tree army continues its uh, inexorable march on Castle Wolfort, Serenoa and his retinue discuss the best path forward. Hawk to Roost. I will give the signal when it is time to cast your vote. I ask each of you to weigh the matter carefully till then. Very well, my lord. To our own councils we go. Their hearts are divided. But a compelling argument may yet change some minds. To sway them, I will need more information. Perhaps I should ask around town. I'm going out, my lord. Concierge. Serrano. Yes, I would hear the wisdom of my people. Concierge understood, my lord. When your work is done, pray speak to me once more. I will do just that, thank you. Sir no more. Let me investigate some more, then return when I have knowledge that I'm at three miles. Voting. The part of sorry will be determined determined by the consensus of your party as played out through the voting scenes. Wow. Each of your allies will cast their votes according to his or her or her own convictions. As the player, you may cast a single vote, but you will be bound to the decision of the majority. Furthermore, before voting commences, you may speak to others to persuade, persuade them to change their mind. Whether or not you attempt at persuasion succeeded, however, it will be not be known for sure until the votes are cast. Trust in your mind, not in your heart. How many lives would be saved? Begin persuasion. We must protect your Roland or at cost. It may take effort, but they can be swayed. <laughs> The key to successful persuasion is gathering the necessary information beforehand. Head to town and see what knowledge you may glean from the people. You learn about Wolfhard's secret weapon. Ooh. Wolfhard's soldier. A terror like none other come over me. And I saw the state in which you returned, my lord. Okay, it's time to loot. Anything here? It's 3D. It is 3D. Nothing to loot, eh? No, oh, there's something here. Search. Obtain the fire sword. Oh, I see. The stone in fire. Fire sword. Hello, child. Mother is not herself today. Has something scary happened? Okay, maybe. 
Bufal's town's person. Has the crown city truly fallen? What madness is this? Okay. Do you have something to give me? Nothing. Oh, we have something here. Obtain a HP recovery pallet. Okay. Is it true? Has S Frost attacked the Crown City? How could the High Houses have let this happen? Turn large HP recovery pallet. Nice. Hello. Itinerant motion. There's commotion in the capital, to be sure, but it'll all be a vision. The Dawn Spear will see to that. The Dawn Spear. Aye, the sun won't set on Glenbrook till Sir Maxwell falls. Ha! Huh. As if that would ever happen. Ooh. Sir Maxwell laid down his life so that we might see another day. We must do all in our power to see that his noble sacrifice was not in vain. You learn more about the Downspear sacrifice. Downspear. Ending here. Mm, nothing. Nothing to loot. Salt monger. I would mind to make my way to the capital, but the high roads blocked. What's the meaning of this, anyway? I've got mouths to feed at home. Really? How many? No, nobody. I will obtain HP recovery pellet. Nice. I shudder to think there is a bounty on Prince Roland's head. The boy has always been a friend to the people. Hmm. It says he is to be delivered alive. I wager they have no plans of executing him. At least, not any time soon. I should let the others know of this. You learn more about a bounty of the prince. Is it true? Has S. Frost attacked the Crown City? How could the High Houses have let this happen? Obtained 100 dollars. Hello. Wolfot soldier. Long have I heard rumors of secret traps that dot the Wolfot demons. 
If the tales are to be believed, they serve to make quick work of any intruders. Do I can't help but wonder why I keep such a valuable weapon so secret? Secret traps. It is hard to say what this might mean for us. They might well be employed to give us an advantage in battle, but at what cost to our own? Hmm. You learn about Wolford's secret weapon. Long have I learned rumors of secret traps. Okay. The Sautiron War had just broken out in earnest when Elsfrost foundries began producing arms and armor forged on of iron, the likes of which we've ever seen. It was a great boon to an already impressive army. Along, they brought destruction to every corner of the world. As I hear it, the frosty armies remains the most mighty on the continent. I pray that we are not about to, to relieve that bloody age. Okay. And this on the eve of New Age of Harmony, what could the Archduke be thinking? Anything here? Secret weapon name. So, anything else here? What do we have here? Oh! Returning to the council chamber, my lord. Yes. Proceed. This one will not easily be swayed. <laughs> Suppose we decline, the Duchess army will stop at nothing to get it take Prince Roland from us. Let's see. Undecided, let's see. Hello. I lad. I'm no fool, my lord. We stand as good a chance against as frost army as an egg against the castle walls. But we can't go offering up Prince Roland's head on a silver platter. Car, he's uh, all that's left of our royal family. Persuade. These are dark days, lad. To think the time would come that we'll be weighing the fate of prince and kingdom on the scales. We must protect Roland at all costs. Even Benedict's at a loss this time, and I've never known the man to lack of ideas. Or, where does that leave us? Hmm. Sir Maxwell and the king gave their lives. And for what? We cannot allow any more sacrifices. Locked, eh? 
You're onto something. You not get any peace thinking like that. There's nothing any of us could have done. Besides, that's all the more reason to protect the press. I know how you feel. I do. Consider this. Sort to my throat. I reckon we'll outman this at this stance now. Do you truly believe we can come out of this on top? Win or lose, the time is to fight. <laughs> the time is to fight is upon us. There must be a winning strategy here. Hmm. Can't help you with that, lad. I don't give the orders. I just take them. Men will die, and our home will may never be the same. Still, we can only do the best we can. What are keeping the people from harm? Have you given any thought about that? Uh, we must do our best to prevent casualties, of course. Aye, but. My, in the perfect world, they would be fine. But even the best strategies don't always go as you planned. As lords of house, you got to prepare yourself for the worst. Tough spot we're in. I'm no closer to an answer, but at least I know where your head and heart lie. Our door has been moved by her words. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ha! Huh, show me some someone who says they have got an easy answer, and I will show you a damn fool. Persuade. Persuade. You must protect Roland at all costs. <laughs> I will not allow my life to be weighed against those of the people. Ooh. There must be a common ground we can find. Our kingdom needs you. Have you forgotten Sir Maxwell's dying words? Certainly. Okay, father taught that whoever rules is righteous by virtue of the station alone. But now, though I weigh your words more heavily than most, I know not what is right. However, I appreciate your speaking, your mind, but I have my own thoughts on the matter. After all, it is not best that I handle that which is easy, settled by my own word alone. Who? Oh. There is a way by which we might still overcome our foes. I wonder. You mean to say such a thing is available to us? Such a tactic would demand a sacrifice of your people. And against their will, no doubt. I can no longer discern what is right and wrong. I place my fate in your hands. Roland has been moved by words. Woo! 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 I am ready. I am prepared to accept the consequences of this. Make up your mind before mine changes. What do you need? We stand no chance against, uh, against an army that large. Releasing the prince to ask for us is the logical decision. With all due respect, His Highness, the kingdom must come before his personal freedom.
Only a fool would pick a fight he cannot win. I do not take you for a fool. You. They will see us as not but pawns if we surrender Roland. I don't know. All the more reason to prepare for battle now while they are otherwise occupied. We may find their weaknesses yet. Well, I too wish we did not have to surrender Prince Roland, mind you. We must be true in time like this. Pray continue. I would hear your thoughts in more detail. Oh, truth to be told, I have a plan. Hmm, a hidden device that may give us the upper hand. I too have heard the rumors, and yet, I see where your heart lies, my lord. Let us hope that it leads us well. Gila appears in indifference to your plea. Persuade. Duet. Begin persuasion. Sur surrounding Roland is the only way. <laughs> Suppose we decline, the Duchess army will stop at nothing to take Roland's Prince Roland from us. Lord Serenella. Allowing emotion to govern us in the moment will only cloud our judgment. Persuade. Begin persuasion. I trust that you will make a reasoned decision, my lord. You are not. Perhaps the battle is not as hopeless as one might think. The town's secret weapon. Hmm. I must confess. Indeed. I must confess. I was not aware you knew of our demise, last resort. Forgive me, nothing I have heard here has shaken my convictions. Have you any more to say in your favor? Roland must live, that our land may yet flourish. As a lord, my duty is to house Wolford above all. I do not believe the battle is a futile one. However, acting merely on wishful thinking, we open you to criticism, and rightly so. True, this presumes that I have correctly deduced that you agree with His Highness' thinking. I am decided. At any rate, I thank you for sharing your thoughts with me. I shall take them to heart. Benedict is deep in thought. Okay. Okay, we have one behind here. Hello. Why you hide behind here? Sweet. And we must protect Roland at all costs. Surrendering, surrendering Roland is the only way to protect the demise. Surely you see that. The battle is not yet lost. We cannot yield to enemies every demand. Yes, with the right strategy, there's no such thing as an unwinnable battle. Perhaps. And you have plans of which I was not private. Very well. However, as in all things, logic must guide our judgment. Anna appears indifferent to your plea. Persuade. Persuade. Surrendering Roland is the only way. Hmm. 
do you truly mean to give up Prince Roland? If we do not, then it is not just we who will pay the price. If doing so will save lives, I fear it is the wisest cost of action. I will not see Sir Maxwell's sacrifice rendered meaningless. Ooh. And even his loss was too much. I cannot bear to see yet another sacrifice bring suffering and grief. This time I fear not even your words can sway me. Yet. My apologies, but this has only left me more uncertain of what is right. Frederica appears indifferent to your plea. Proceed. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Search. And persuasion phase and commands voting. Yes, okay, no problem. Oh, voting. It is time to cast our votes. I hereby open this matter to a vote. The question before us, do we surrender Prince Roland in accordance with Asfra's demands or do we fight for his freedom? On this matter, I say... We must protect Roland at all costs. Approach the scales of conviction. I bid you approach the scales of conviction. I believe in you. I put my faith in you as ever, my friend. I believe I can decide this matter with confidence. I too have made up my mind. May we not regret the path we have chosen. I don't understand. <laughs> I fear I cannot believe that this is the correct path. So? You believe we can win, yes? My apologies. I am ever a servant of House Wilford, Wilford, but I cannot agree to this. Me over. I cast my lot with the young master. He has given me no reason to dub, dub in him now. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. Ho <laughs> ho! You. All right. Staff of the S Frosty Army and protect Prince Roland. Hand over the prince. <laughs> Voting results. Oh, Anna, you want me to hand over the Prince Roland and avoid conflict. The way forward is decided. Okay. We surrender Prince Roland to no one. The as frosty shall get our blades between their ribs and thank us for the honor. <laughs> wow, that is brutal, man. Okay. The judgment is made. The scales tip and our path is chosen. We must steel ourselves for the battle that lies ahead. Very well. Then I will do all in my power to see that it proves the right one. 
I fight with you, my friend. Prepare the defenses. We will hold our own against the army of Estfrost. Interesting. After consulting the scales and reaching a consensus, House Wolfort resolved to shelter Prince Roland. Not long after, they find themselves besieged by an elite subset of Esfrost's forces. Ooh. Commanding the Duchy's armies is none other than General of Laura, the deadly warrior who claimed the lives of Prince Franny and Sir Maxwell with her own hands. Pardon the intrusion, Your Grace. A raven's arrived from House Wolfert. Concerning Prince Roland, no doubt. So they refused to relinquish him to us. How intriguing. <laughs> they will remain loyal to the royal family even if it means their demise. Very well. Send a raven to General of Laura. Tell her to make for the Wolfort Domain at once, and that she is to return with the Prince, or not at all. Ooh. Yes, Your Grace. Save in progress. Good. A bird arrives at Hawk's Roost Castle Baron News from a lookout. And what's here? Tell your plaza. A raven from the Crown City arrives at the Tellur demise, prompting Lord Silvio to consider his next action. Ah, Lord Tellior, there you are. Yes, what is it? Tidings from Whitehall, my lord. House Wolfort shelters Prince Roland within their domain and refuses to acquiesce to Esfrost's demands. What's this? Those fools would stand in defiance against the duchy. The Archduke's forces move against the Wolforts as we speak. They intend to capture Prince Roland and bring down House Wolfort in one fell swoop. Ooh. Hmm. House Wolfort is strong, but not strong enough for a full on attack from the Duchy's forces. And yet, there is always the chance, however slim, that they will prevail. Best wait and see how the situation unfolds. Oh, wow. Well, not one to help? Yes. There is no need to rush into anything. We must consider carefully what will afford us the best chance of survival. Okay. Continue to keep your eye on the other domains. I must know of any movement among the wolf forts and the fox, no matter how inconsequential. Yes, my lord. Ho oh, ho! So many stories.
So they would rather die than bend the knee? Woolfort truly is a house of fools. At least Avlora will have the chance to prove herself on the battlefield. That's why we took her in, no? She'll prove useful yet. For her own sake, I would hope so. Once we bring down the highest of the three high houses, what do you suppose will become of the other two? <laughs> I should think the answer obvious, dear sister. The cowardly Tellyors will be at our beck and call. The Falks, too stubbornly loyal for their own good, will not. House Falks presides over bountiful lands. Now, do you suppose Brother will pass up the chance to claim such a tantalizing prize? Indeed not, Brother dear. <laughs> okay. I think there is one more here. News of how Wolfhard's decision arrives in the Fox. Demise on Dark Wings, spurring Lord Landroy to action. You are aware that Prince Roland fled to the Wolfert Domain after the Crown City fell. Ooh, Lenroy. As Frost demanded that His Highness be relinquished to their custody immediately. We have just received word that Wolfert refused. All right. A most admirable display of loyalty to Glenbrook's royal family, if ever I have seen one. Okay. And they are not the only ones who shall remain true. In the name of King Regna, House Fox too will take up arms against those Esfrosty bastards. Oh, okay. For we are one of the three high houses of Glenbrook. We will live up to that name and fight for our homeland with our lives. Okay. Aye! May your shields be strong and your sword strike true, my countrymen. For Glenbrook! Charge! <laughs> Hawks roost. Hmm, nothing here. Okay, a bird arrives at Hawks roost castle bearing news from a lookout. Laura? Are you certain? Yes. We are surrounded by the Archduke's main forces, led by General Avlora herself. Ooh. She killed my brother and my master. I must avenge them, even if it means my life. Your Highness, your life is far too important to so blithely throw away. <laughs> I know that, and yet... 
Facing the Asfrosty forces head-on is a fool's errand. They will drive us back with ease. Let us consider another strategy. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, there is more to this town than meets the eye. All right. It is a secret which, under normal circumstances, would be divulged to a new lord only after their succession is made official. But desperate times. I sent a man just now to make preparations. Come with me. We haven't much time. Okay, we will stop here. Thanks for watching. We will continue next time.